The inner revolution of the mind has been confined to rather isolated individuals. It has never, to my knowledge, been widely characteristic of communities or societies. It is often thought as too dangerous, hence the taboo. Alan Watts, 1966. The reason why Alan Watts believed that knowing yourself became taboo is because we suffer from a hallucination, a false and distorted sense of our own experience as living organisms. It is the sensation that the self is a separate internal center bounded to our physical bodies, which confront the external people and things in a universe that's often alien and strange. This feeling of being lonely and temporary visitors in the universe is a direct contradiction to everything that we know about living organisms. We did not come into this world as people commonly say, rather, we emerge like leaves from trees. Every individual is an expression of the universe in its totality. That quote from his book made me realize that we trick ourselves into believing illusions about our importance, our self-worth, and our passions due to a fear of being wrong and being an outsider to our society. And after realizing that, I found that the only way I could get through my trauma is by making sure I take life for what it is and be more realistic about the way I feel and cope. Not only do I feel that self-awareness is important for coping and dealing with trauma, being self-aware allows you to create your own guide to the things that you want and being able to find your passion in life. I found that there is no greater purpose to this other than finding a way to make this experience less painful. And I believe that the true way to do that is becoming self-aware. As I've been learning to become more self-aware, I've been able to start working on fixing my addiction issues and my depression issues, finding motivation and passion to do what's good for me and those around me.